Obviously, cars need fuel to go. The trouble is, fuel costs an awful lot of money. So why not make a car that goes further, a lot further, for your hard-earned cash? Well, that's exactly what Volkswagen have done with this, the new Ecomatic. It's the result of a 10-year development program, a high-economy, low-emission version of the well-loved and established diesel Golf. Now, Volkswagen have been claiming some pretty impressive consumption figures for the car, so we're carrying out our own little test here at the RAC under the eagle eye of their technical services engineer, Bob Proctor. After running the car dry, we're going to pour a measured gallon of diesel into the tank. And now we're off round the West Midlands on a test run to see just how far we get on a variety of roads. Well, it coughed and spluttered about uh, half a mile ago, and uh, Bob and I think that's it. It's right out of fuel. Now, as you've seen, we've been on a, a variety of routes, from motorway to dual carriageway and out here on Cannock Chase on rural roads, and I really haven't been employing any spectacular economy driving techniques, have I, Bob? No, you haven't. Definitely not. Well, the meter says the engine was switched off for 34% of our journey, so... Well, Bob does the calculations and finds out exactly what we've done to the gallon. Let's get this thing refueled. So why a special meter on our test car to show engine switch-off time? Patience, all will be revealed. In fact, it's difficult to give hard and fast consumption figures for the car, as Diesel Car magazine found in their road test. They got almost 50 miles to the gallon on a route which included a lot of motorway work and all their performance testing. And yet the government figures for the Ecomatic on the urban cycle are just over 60 miles to the gallon. Our little test showed figures very close to the Volkswagen engineer's target of a 22% improvement over the consumption of a standard diesel Golf. It all depends, you see, on the way you drive this car. Now, that's a statement that is obviously true for every car on the world market. But why should driver behaviour play such a vital part in this particular car's economy potential? Well, for an answer, let's join Estelle Matthews as she discovers the secrets behind the Ecomatic.
The answer, of course, is that this golf has been designed to give the best possible economy to your everyday use. In the first place, it doesn't waste fuel by leaving the engine running. When you lift your foot, the engine cuts off and you simply freewheel along. Let's see how it works. So when you take your foot off the accelerator, the engine stops. Put it back on again, and the engine picks up straight away. And when you come to a stop, the engine doesn't idle away using more precious fuel, it simply stops. And when you need more power, you simply put your foot on the accelerator and off it goes. Now I know we've all been taught not to coast since we started driving, but with the Ecomatic, we simply have to revise our ideas a bit. There's no point in pumping fuel through an engine that simply isn't doing any work. And you'll be surprised just how often, especially on urban journeys, your engine isn't actually pulling you along. The car's also fitted with an automatic clutch, so there's no clutch pedal. But the gear shift works just as normal. Obviously, you'll have some concerns about your engine switching on and off as you drive. The first thing to say is simple. Don't worry. Volkswagen would never have put this car into production until it had ironed out and identified all the possible pitfalls and made sure it was absolutely fail-safe. Now, they've chosen a diesel because it starts instantly and reliably every time. The starter motor is standard, but they've added a truly huge battery to make sure you've got all the electrical power you'll need. That battery looks after power steering, power brakes, radio, lights, wipers and washers. In fact, all the car's electrical systems while the engine is at rest. So, although the engine is off, everything else works as normal. The engine, gearbox and clutch are all standard units made in their millions by Volkswagen, with an enviable record of reliability and longevity. And don't worry about your engine switching on and off when you're manoeuvring into a car parking space, for example. It won't in that situation. Why? Well, at the heart of the car is a sophisticated computer that works out just what's happening under all driving conditions and decides when it's appropriate to switch the engine on or off. And of course, if you decide not to use the system for some reason, if it's snowing or you're motoring down the side of the Alps and you want to do some engine braking, then you simply switch the system off. And if you don't want the engine to cut out when you come to rest in traffic, for instance, simply leave your hand on the gear lever. In fact, the car's quite fun to drive. You soon find yourself trying to spend more and more time coasting, the better you get to know the system. Now, while it's undoubtedly an economical car, it's just as quick as the standard Golf diesel. In fact, it'll do 100 miles an hour flat out with decent acceleration times. Of course, if you spend all your time with your foot flat on the floor, the engine will never cut out at all. But that would rather defeat the whole object of the exercise. Now, it's important not to run away with the idea that this is some experimental bit of kit aimed at the mad professor market. In fact, it's a, an everyday practical car that just happens to offer exceptional fuel economy. 
in addition to all those economy benefits, you'll also have the satisfaction of knowing you're driving a car which dramatically cuts both pollution and noise levels in our crowded towns and cities. Now that's something every car manufacturer will eventually be forced to do. With the Ecomatic, Volkswagen has achieved it today. The Golf Ecomatic, a new concept in motoring from Volkswagen.